Okay, uh, let me uh, introduce you to uh, Tinkercad. This is an uh, useful uh, software. So, uh, for you to understand concepts, so uh, I write an uh, Tinkercad. So, right, so you go out here, you can uh, create an account using your uh, Bits University on uh, email ID, whatever. Uh, you can you just have to, uh, it will ask initially uh, because I have already uh, created an account, so I am straight away logging into my account. Otherwise, it will ask you some details which you, it is a free software, so you can just uh, provide your details and log in. Okay, so I go to uh, circuits out here, right? Okay, now I am going to create a new circuit out here. Uh, so, this is my workspace. So, I need to uh, pull up some components. So, let me just uh, uh, first take a breadboard. So, uh, I type here breadboard. Right. So, I am just uh, dragging this here. Okay. This is a uh, breadboard. Okay. Uh, uh, so, all these components are actual components which you will get in the market. Right. So, this is a breadboard which you get in the market. Okay. So, if you see uh, how uh, connections are uh, there in the breadboard, you see this total uh, on a top row they are interconnected okay so you can insert wires into these breadboards they are all small small holes available but the entire top row or uh, is interconnected can you see that a green thing which is connected showing the entire top row is interconnected uh, similarly the entire bottom row out here is uh, uh, interconnected okay if i come to these places if you see this the entire vertical lines are interconnected if you see these are all interconnected okay the two vertical lines are isolated from each other but this entire uh, uh, holes which are there available they are uh, connected so they are all a single connection internally they are connected similarly here so this vertical line and this vertical line they are not interconnected because there is a gap in between out here if you see here so these are all similarly this bottom row is connected this bottom row is uh, fully uh, connected okay uh, so now i am going to take an uh, power supply like i type here no, bad battery so i have a 9 volt power supply so i am going to uh, uh, pull it here I am going to, I have taken a uh, 9 volt power supply, I am going to uh, connect that here, right, I am, I am going to get connect out here. So, let me just align it little bit. So, now this entire row, uh, I have 9 volt here and this entire volt, I have the ground or the negative terminal available here. So, I am going to take an uh, uh, switch, uh, slide switch, okay, this is the uh, slide switch. So, I am going to uh, let me put it here. I have uh, put an uh, slide switch. Okay. What does this slide switch do? If I put, uh, this is the position, I can change the position of the switch. So, if I put it into the left out here, these two terminals are connected and, and if I put it on to the right side, the middle and the right terminal will be uh, connected to each other. Okay. So, I am going to give a 9 volt supply into the middle terminal. So, I am going to connect it here. So, in the middle terminal, I have connected uh, 9 volt supply out here. So, now if I uh, if I change the uh, position of the switch, I will get supply either here or here. Right now, I am going to take an uh, bulb out here. I am going to uh, put one bulb here and I am going to uh, put one more bulb out here. Right. Uh, so, now, uh, from here, connected here, I've connected here. Now, uh, from here, I've connected here. So, I have given a uh, positive supply from here. See, these are connected. So, I put it here from here to here. So, in both the one each in a terminals, I have given a connection from uh, these pins. Now, I have to give the ground here. So, I take a wire out here, I put it here, from here I am going to uh, pull it to the uh, ground. Uh, similarly, uh, from here I am going to put it here, right. Uh, so, I have just uh, given an uh, connection out here. So, I have a start uh, simulation button. Uh, if I uh, start simulation, since this position switch is here, this bulb uh, you find it is glowing out here. If I uh, toggle this switch, this bulb is going to uh, glow. Uh, is this uh, clear to all of you? Anybody has got any doubt? Is it clear? 
Ah, I would appreciate if there is some response, right? I will know at least. I'm yes, sir, it is. Yes, yeah. sir, it is clear. Okay. Ah, uh, now uh, what I want you to do is, ah, uh, uh, you understand what is a staircase wiring? No, sir. No. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, staircase wiring is like suppose you have an ah uh, staircase. Ah, uh, you have a bulb somewhere in between, a single bulb, but you will have a, a switch in the below the staircase, and you will have. A switch on the top of the uh, staircase. Okay, so while climbing the stairs, you might want to switch on the bulb. So you, from the bottom, you will switch it on, and then you climb up. Uh, once having uh, reached on top, uh, you will have one more switch there. With there, uh, you should be able to switch off the bulb, right? So that is known as the staircase wiring. Essentially, there is only one bulb and two switches, and the bulb can be uh, either switched on or switched off uh, using these two switches. Okay. Uh, so irrespective of what is the position of that switch okay uh, in one uh, like uh, not necessarily uh, no, if you switch it on it will uh, switch on you might have to uh, switch it off to switch it on uh, like uh, it depends on the position of the other switch there will be two switches uh, same uh, toggle switch you need to use uh, two toggle switches and one bulb okay and with each of these toggle switches you should be able to uh, control the bulb uh, is the problem statement clear to all of you Yes, sir. Yeah, there are uh, one bulb and two uh, switches. With each of these switches, you should be able to switch on the bulb or switch off the bulb. Okay, uh, so uh, it can be either way, right? Uh, switching on could be towards the left or towards the right. So that that is not an uh, issue. Uh, by changing the position of the switch, you should be able to switch on the bulb or switch off the bulb, and both the switches uh, should independently. You should be able to. Uh, do that so that is known as uh, staircase uh, wiring okay so you need to uh, uh, implement uh, uh, this in 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 tcat uh, and uh, probably uh, uh, one of you anyone who sever has uh, completed it uh, may uh, demonstrate uh, how you have done it uh, in in your next uh, tutorial class okay uh, so sir uh, so when one is off one should be on yeah Uh, no, uh, no, not necessarily. There, are, see, uh, the problem statement is very uh, simple. There is one bulb and two switches, right? So with these switches, you should be able uh, with any one switch, you should be able to switch it on and switch it off. Correct? Suppose in a staircase there is a bulb in between. So uh, the the switch uh, na, says, "Na, I am climbing up, so I will I should be able to switch it on from the bottom, go to the top of the staircase, and uh, switch off the bulb." and while i am uh, coming from the top i should be able to switch on from the top come to the bottom and from the bottom i should be able to uh, switch it off so in essentially there will be two switches and one bulb and the on off sh uh, should be able, we should be able to control the on off operation with uh, either of the switches that is the problem statement is it okay just try it out and uh, it's not an, it, it's an uh, pretty uh, simple thing But then uh, we will learn uh, something uh, new out of it. Okay, so uh, okay, th th thanks a lot. Uh, we'll call it off for today. Uh,